Oops. trickle start yeah there's mine right there <laughs> yeah I put this trickles charger in uh, probably like five years ago and has been working great keeps the uh, chassis battery all charged up and ready to go however I recently upgraded to lithium batteries in the uh, coach area the manufacturer says that huh, it's not compatible with lithium I need to buy something else uh, yeah, I don't know. For a quick recap, uh, after installing the lithium batteries, I also changed out the uh, converter, which changes the AC from either generator or shore power into uh, 12 volt DC, or uh, actually 14 volts. I'd also replaced my Zamp's solar controller with a newer unit, and that one has a lithium setting, so I was good with that, so I had two ways to charge it. Uh, third way to charge, of course, is the alternator. Uh, yeah, I did a different video on that if you're interested. I just have a switch so I can turn it on and off and use it when I want to. And when I don't need it, just leave it off. So that brings me to the last item, which is the trickle start. Uh, as I said, uh, this thing's been working great for me, but uh, yeah, the manufacturer wants you to buy an amp L start for another $73. So, uh, I hate to throw this away. It's been working great, so I'm going to try to figure out another way around it. Recently, my son wanted to borrow the RV for a family member that was coming into town. Yeah, she needed a place to sleep and to work remotely. After three weeks, the chassis battery was down to 12.3 volts. The unit started right up, and I drove home and charged it on the way home. Uh, now it's time to fix this so that this battery will be charged, uh, even if it's in storage for months at a time or whatever. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. So you might be wondering, uh, <laughs> why do you need to charge the chassis battery when you're not uh, using it? Well, of course you could just unplug it, uh, pull the um, cable off by the acceleration pedal, but uh, yeah, I usually don't bother with that. Uh, but, you know, the chassis does use power even when you're not running it. Uh, yeah, the clock runs, any Bluetooth devices, uh, radios, all that kind of stuff sometimes use a little bit of power to keep them alive. So over time, it's going to run down. And it's going to shorten the life of your chassis battery. With the trickle start, there's a potential problem uh, using lithium, and that is, well, <laughs> yeah, if you're not uh, if you're not charging your lithium batteries at all, and it's in storage, yeah, the uh, chassis battery will slowly drain it, and it will, <laughs> yeah, you may find that your lithium battery is pretty much discharged before it shuts off. So. Uh, in my case, I have solar, and I'm parked outside here in the sun all the time, so it wouldn't be a problem. However, if I didn't have solar, yeah, I wouldn't want it to run my battery down, so I think I'll make a mod to try to address that. After looking into this, uh, yeah, do I really need to change this out? Well, I did find a guy who made a mod. Uh, he must have been an electrical engineer, which I am not. Uh, but anyway, I, I copied his design. We added some diodes to the trickle start, so it changes the cutoff voltage, so my lithium battery will not run down. I don't always take the path well traveled. I decided to add the diodes and not replace it with an ample start. Because what the heck, trickle start is still working fine. I don't need to buy another device just to do the same kind of thing. So if you want to do it, uh, yeah, all you need to buy is some four diodes. Yeah, I'll put the link in the descriptions for those. Uh, and hook them up like this. And then it works fine. When the lithium battery is at 13.3 volts, and then the chassis battery is 12.8 volts. So that's all well and good, but I did want to test it for myself, so I did try it out. All right, plugged in the coach. Now let's see what we got here. Okay, shore power has been hooked up for about a half an hour. And so the chassis battery is 13.3 volts. Lithium battery, 14.47. Cool. If you've just converted to lithium batteries, yeah, probably the most common uh, thing to do is to change the trickle charge out for the ample start. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. There's only three wires to do it. Uh, of course, the uh, diode block is pretty easy too. Just place in the diode block. Uh, I did it on the blue wires, uh, but I think you can use the yellow also. But anyway, the blue is more convenient for me, so that's what I did. The only real advantage of using diodes is uh, it's cheaper. It cost me about 15 bucks to do that, and it's probably closer to $80 for the ample start. So anyway, it's up to you. Either way seems to work. 
So after about a week of testing, uh, yes, I'm happy with the mod. I'm only losing about a half an amp uh, for all those phantom drains and that kind of stuff. And the chassis battery is staying around 12.7 volts. Uh, yeah, when I actually charge from either the, uh, the engine, shore power, or generator, uh, that charges the battery right up over 13 volts. But uh, for some reason, my solar charger, um, yeah, it kind of shuts off around 13 and a half volts. So I don't quite get a totally full charge. But anyway, it's close enough. So I guess I can live with that. So this completes my changes for the lithium upgrade battery. So I guess I'm really actually good to go. So I just have to use it. I have one more thing to investigate. And it has to do with starting the generator. But anyway, that's for another video. So this is Grandpa Ron. And I'll see you on the road.